Hello, this take on Fusey, and welcome back to a no preview on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Tim and T and Stranger Things issue number 4, and um, this is supposed to be the final issue, and I think that some of the stuff in here does feel like it's like contradicting some of the stuff that was in the last issue, so it will be a <laughs> unique one to say the very least, depending on what they actually do in this final issue, um, so yeah. Um, okay, so we do first start off with um, all the characters who was in TSRI, I think it was, or the lab, whatever it is. Uh, they're talking, uh, trying to get a message over to Leo, Mikey, and those strange face characters who are in the upside down place. And we do get to see that the demon dog mouse of things, they're finally coming over to the uh, uh, to our earth, I want to say. I'm not too sure what to really say because I don't know too much about strange things, so yeah, but um, yeah, so then. We do go to the next page where we do get to see them just talking and um, they do need to come up with an idea to try and get a message out and it's interesting what they do come up with because um, as we'll find out later what it is in this page which we do get to see Casey and April and I got think that this could be something which m might um, cause a few arguments online just because I know the whole thing with April well, she was black or white in the comics. It's going to be a big thing now, just because now they are saying that that in this issue, and it's supposed to be in the Mirage universe. So it will be interesting to see what people react to say about it all. Um, but yeah, it's quite cool to see Casey Jones back in this universe, and yeah. <laughs> um, and then we do get to see down here. Um, get, like there's a little reference to neutrinos. Also, did forget to mention. I think it was this one. I think this page, I can't remember what page it was, or was it this one? Um, th uh, yeah, um, yeah, it was this one. We do get to see a little um, easter egg to uh, Jim Lawson, uh, which says uh, Officer Lawson, so I thought that's pretty cool, and yeah. And then to go into this one, I believe it's this page, really? yes, okay, yeah, this is definitely the pa right page. Um, so this is where things get weird, just because we're talking to an Ootrom. Now, this shouldn't really sound too weird, just because they did find him in the last issue, but here's the thing: the, one of the Strange Things characters uh, like, like, basically set it alight and killed it, and yet here they are talking to it as if it's you know nothing's happened or anything like that. So I am very confused if this is actually like the same Ultron from the last, from the last issue or you know like, like a different one. But either way, he's there, and we do get uh, get more lore for the Mirage Universe, basically the Ultrons were built on Teleporter and then they found a way to the upside down place which I think is kind of cool for the lore side of things but I don't know how I really feel about it because messing with like big toll history and all that so yeah it's one of those things but yeah and we do get to see in the next page we're talking a bit more about it and we do get to see that this Ultron has a partner and is still working on a device to bring a demon thing over to Earth, I want to say, again, I'm not too sure about turtle stuff, but um, <laughs> either way, it'll be interesting. I just want to see like that that big alien thing come over to Earth, but I doubt it, but if they were, how would they even stop it in one issue, so yeah, <laughs> oh boy. Um, but yeah, so I think going over to the next bit, we do have a description for this issue. And the description is, uh, Demo dogs have overrun the city, New Yorkers are being rounded up like cattle, ready hope um, of salvation, four talking turtles and six uh, school children on a school uh, field trip. The Team and T and the Hawkins kids convene on Times Square to send the upside down back to the upside down. Uh, but can they face something this big and walk away? Uh, don't miss the conclusion to this year's Strangers crossover. And yeah, it definitely is the Strangers crossover this year. Um, and yeah, and this is all last time which I'm somewhat curious about to see how they're going to be tackling all this stuff in this issue. Just because they've got a lot of stuff going for this issue in terms of like big things that, you know, like must really take like at least two, three issues to actually stop, but they're going to be stopping all of it in one issue. So it'll be hmm, interesting to see how they do stop all of it. And I've got a feeling that it's not going to be good, but they'll try the hardest to make it good. So. We'll have to wait and see. Um, and yeah, so I've been going into the next bit. We do have some covers. We do get to see this amazing one of this demon thing. I don't know what it's called, but 
is coming and we do get to see uh, what Stan Ryan from Leonardo. And I have to say this, it looks beautiful. The artwork, the colours, everything about it looks so great. And I don't know if this one was like a digital painting or like one like done digital uh, devices or this one was done like physically with like actual paint because this one feels like it was done with real paint and stuff like that. But either way, this one is really beautiful and yeah, it just looks so great. Um, yeah. And then the next one, which is one which I don't know how to feel about it because on one hand, it is great because you do get to see uh, Mikey and some other strange things characters. They're there and they're upside down, so all things upside down, which I think is pretty cool. However, that, however, with that being said, we do get to see Shredder there. And for some reason, he doesn't have his head, so I do find that a bit weird. But I just don't know what to really say about this, because if Shredder's going to be in this, then cool. But it feels weird to just place him in at a very final issue, so I think it'll be interesting to see what we do with Shredder and how we introduce him if I do introduce him so that'll be when see type of situation uh, then we've got this one which I don't have too much really to say about it uh, we do get to see Donny Leo and another toll I'm not too sure who it is uh, they're getting inside of a van with <laughs> some school kids uh, sounds a bit dodgy <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah like, I don't know what to really say about this one it's just like one of these ones that's just there you know um, but it looks cool, I'm gonna say. The yeah, artwork's decent and nice. Um, yeah. Um, so then going to the next one, we do get to see um, the last one of these. Uh, I, I don't know if they're like connecting cards. I don't think they are. Uh, but we do get to see Raphael. He's playing Dozens of Dragons with a Stranger Things character. I don't know what to say about it. And his uh, Stranger Things character, oh, Dungeon, Dungeon Dragon character, is called Druid. That's interesting, and yeah, <laughs> I never really thought I would see Raphael playing Dungeons and Dragons, but here we are, and yeah, <laughs> I, I can't say I was disappointed in the slightest. Um, so then, going into the next one, we do have, I believe it's like a 110 variant or something like that, which is uh, another one which I'm a little bit disappointed in, because it's just the same one as cover A, but with no text, but... At least it looks really cool, I'll say that, so we do have that to look forward to. Then we do have this other one, which is okay, I want to say, but we did get Celio Leo there, he's in the forest with, I, I believe it's the chef character that was in issue 2, I want to say. Um, yeah, Miss McKay, I want to say. I can't say much more than that, it was just there, um, yeah. And then we do have it with different colours, which... A little bit disappointing because I like something new, better and different other than it just being different colours but I do think that the different colours do look quite cool but it's just disappointing. So then for the next one which is a weird one as well because you get to see the turtles, they're fighting the demon dog things on the trains or strength things characters are fighting the foot and as much as I do like this one for being creative for what they're trying to do in this one and it does feel really cool for what it is it does feel really weird and bad just because the foot are not in this series whatsoever or at least not now they are so if they do get introduced in this final issue then yep it's uh oh god it's all gonna go downhill um but yeah it looks decent enough for this cover and then for the final one which is an honor it's a really small one but we do get to see Mikey versus the demon dog thing. <laughs> yeah, it's there, I want to say. But, um, yeah, must admit, overall, I do think that this one's got to be my favourite one. This looks so great with all the colours. The uh, Yeah, it's just so amazing. Uh, but, uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section below what you about this issue. Are you looking forward to it? Are you not? Also, what cover are you looking forward to the most? But, um, yeah, that's going to be for today, guys. If you're some police, share, uh, lots of scrub note stuff. Goodbye, yo. Bye.